Welcome back everybody. Dr. Van Heuklem here, your superintendent in Winchester Public Schools. And it's hard to believe, but in a few short days, we will be getting back to school. We're really excited to have you come back to school. I hope you're excited. Um, and I'm here th uh, this morning at Virginia Avenue, Charlotte DeHart Elementary School. And before I get on with the rest of the welcome back portion of our message, I wanna show you how I got here today. As you can see, I'm here in front of our brand new office building at the Douglas School. Uh, we moved in here in January, and so we are literally in the neighborhood here of Virginia Avenue, Charlotte to Hart. And so I thought it'd be a great place for us to start our walking campaign. Uh, this year, as you may have heard, we'll have expanded walk zones. And so in a few minutes here, I'm gonna walk to Virginia Avenue, my new neighbor. And as I go, I might be handing out some of our new walk zone signs for neighbors to put up to make sure folks know to slow down as they drive through, uh, keep an eye out for our kids as they're walking to school. This is about half a mile uh, from Virginia Avenue, Charlotte to Hart. So here I am in Gray Street, um, heading towards Virginia Avenue, Charlotte to Hart. I looked at the map ahead of time. I know I'm going to take a left on Kern Street here in a little bit. I want to remind all of our kids and families how important it is that we stay on the sidewalks. We got great sidewalks here in Winchester. All right, so I'm here at Kern and Gray Street. And according to my map that I got at Open House, I'm going to take a left here. So I've been walking for about 10 minutes. Uh, right over there, Charlotte DeHart, uh, Virginia Avenue, Charlotte DeHart Elementary School. I want to remind our families uh, to make sure you make a plan, uh, make sure you practice walking to school in the next couple days before school starts on Thursday, and uh, make sure your kids know how to get to and from school. And we encourage you to walk with people, right? So we want families to walk together, uh, we want kids to walk together, and make sure they're walking with their friends and keep each other safe. So remember, there'll be crossing guards all throughout the community, so look for those WPS vests and stop signs to help kids navigate their way to school. So there you have it, I made it. A uh, 10 minute walk, about half a mile, and I uh, was able to walk through uh, the beautiful neighborhood that surrounds this school, meet some of the neighbors on my way, and got to school safely. In addition to the walk zones, we have a number of other exciting things happening. This is the year we're gonna celebrate 100 years of Hanley High School. That's why I'm wearing my Hanley shirt this morning. Secondly, at the Shihada Innovation Center this year, we're really excited to offer two new programs. First, uh, we'll be offering a firefighting program. Uh, so we'll have students involved with the Firefighter Academy. Uh, that will be joint with our EMT Academy that we already have. And so we're really excited to partner with the City of Winchester in launching that program for our students. We're also launching the electricity program. And this is for students that they can learn how to be in a, a journeyman on the job site, and so we're excited to launch that program as well. Finally, I uh, want to welcome our international teachers. In fact, here at Virginia Avenue, Charlotte de Hart, we have a dual language program in Spanish and English. We have that also at Frederick Douglass Elementary School and the Daniel Morgan campus. We have over 30 uh, international teachers that come and support our students from all through Central and South America, as well as Spain. In fact, we have teachers from Belize for the first time. You know, I want to reiterate that how important family connection is to the success of our students and the thriving nature of our community. So I want to encourage all of our families to connect with our schools early on in the school year through the open houses as we get ready to come back to school on Thursday, August 10th. See you soon.